we're going to put together the Step 2 Whisper Ride to Buggy. It's best for children ages 18 months to 48 months. So, let's get to it. First, we're going to open up the box and see what we have inside. Let's see. We've got a package of goodies. We're going to make sure we want to hold on to all that. buggy here with the handle and some metal rods taped to it and we have this gray piece here with some important papers and then we also have the stickers we won't need these till the end four wheels you'll see all the pieces that you'll need and everything listed should be what you brought out of the box and in the instructions there's not too many written instructions it's more pictures so hopefully I'll be here to help you out and make sure you get the right um, pieces that you need to construct this so first what we're gonna do is take our Buggy. And you will need to open up your baggie here. And I've got my safety scissors to help me along. I'll open this. You can just kind of set some of the stuff out, but you want to make sure that you don't you don't lose it because that that would be a problem. So I'm just kind of taking some of these bigger pieces out and leaving the smaller ones in the bag so they don't get lost. All right, so we're going to need these two gray pieces here. Um, listed in the instructions, they're G and J. So it's just these gray pieces. And with this, this is fairly easy. You're going to open up the little latch here. And there's a hole you'll see inside of this and all you'll do is take the larger piece and you gotta pop it in through the hole. Just need a little bit of force to pop it in here. There, there it goes. And you're gonna take the bottom piece and it's just kind of like a cap going on a bottle easiest thing to do is probably flip it upside down. And now what I really like about these instructions is when you need some screws, it'll show you the screws and tells you the screw side size, but actually the pictured uh, screw on here is the actual size. So it makes it really easy to find the screw that you're looking for because you can compare the screw to the picture. And here I've got the right picture. So you're gonna need your screwdriver. And you're just going to screw this piece. And now we have already finished step four and we're on to box number five in the instructions. And next what you're gonna to wanna to do is get the metal rods here off of the handle. You can either, you know, struggle with taking the tape off or just cut the tape off. It's a little bit easier. So we've got two rods and these are for the wheels. So, throw that in the garbage. What you need to do is, you'll see on the bottom of the uh, buggy here are some little holes already for the metal rods to put your wheels together. And what you're going to do is you'll need to get one wheel and you'll also 
need some pieces out of the smaller pack here. So we'll open these up. I'm not going to rip them open because I don't want to lose them. So I'll do that. And in here, I think this is pretty neat. There's this little white piece that actually doesn't go on to the buggy, but you're going to use it to help you construct the wheels. So you'll need one of these little black pieces. That's kind of the end of the wheel cap. There's also metal wash washers in here. You're gonna need. Let's see if I can get this open. I cut it already. Oops, they all just fell. So we need two metal washers per wheel. And we'll clean up my little mess right here. All right, I got them all. All right, so you're going to take the metal rod with the white piece and the little black button guy, and you're just going to stick it right in there. You can see how it fits in there. You're going to take the metal rod, and you need um, a hammer or a mallet. I've got a mallet here handy, so we'll use that. And you're going to just stick the rod right into the hole, and you pound it. Oops. on in here. Oh. And really all this little white piece is doing is helping you whoops, uh, be able to pound that in there. So make sure it's on there good and tight. All right, now what we're going to do is from our things here, we're going to construct the wheel. So first we're going to put the wheel on. And make sure the outer part of the wheel is showing. Put it on the outside. And next you're going to put on a washer. And this little white tubing guy. And another washer. And now what you're going to have to do is you're going to look here. And you'll see that you need to get the metal rod right through here so it's not coming out so it's in there nice and secure. And push it so it goes all the way through to the other side and push it right on through. Great. Now we need to do the other wheel. And this is where sometimes you might be able to do this by yourself or sometimes you might need a buddy to help you. So I've got this other wheel, and here's my wheel. You're going to not forget that you need two washers. There's my two washers, and this little white uh, tubey piece here. So we're going to put a washer on, a little tubey piece another washer, and then the wheel. And again, make sure that the hubcap side of the wheel is facing the outside. So the side with like this little flower-like pattern is gonna go towards the inside. So we're gonna stick this here. And now you need another little black end cap. So we're gonna take this. And let's see if I can do this without my buddy. So I kind of just rest this other side here. And you're going to need your hammer or your mallet. And watch your fingers. Whoops. Actually, let's try this. Might be a little bit easier. Just need to make sure that the, the uh, metal rod isn't coming through on the other side. I know it's a little hard to see because you can't see. You only see the front of the car here, but you're going to need to get this end cap on your wheel. And it's a little bit easier if you're doing it this way. There. Now that's good and secure. Now the same thing you did on this front wheels, you're going to do for the back wheels. So let's get that going here. Again, we're going to take the metal rod and the white piece. And a little 
black end cap. So make sure it's good and in there nice and tight. And then we've got our buggy looking more like a buggy. All right. Um, and now the last part of our wheels, we put the little like uh, hubcappy guys on. And I'm going to ask my buddy to come and help me pop these guys on. Just want to make sure these are good in there. There's little hubcap pieces to go over the end caps. These little red, little red guys, they kind of look like red noses. Um, and they have little notches on them that if you look inside the wheel, you'll see there's little holes here. And all you're going to do is match up the notches with the holes, and you'll hear a little snap. Let's try to get them in there. There. So there's one. You need to screw in, 
there's four holes here. So you're gonna have to screw in um, right in here. And on the buggy part, there's kind of indentations to show you where it goes, but not full holes. So you do need to use a little bit of force to put it in, right? All right, so let's find our screws. And again, remember, it shows you exactly what size to use what screws to use, it's the shorter ones still. So we're going to pull out the four screws and put my handy dandy screwdriver, here it is. You might need somebody to help you with this too. So if you, buddy, got that. a little bit of force here I'm putting it in and I'm not going to screw it in really tight I just want to start it just to kind of hold it in place all right let go bud are you okay mm -hmm. and we'll do the other side here our other screw stick this in an eyelash in your eye yeah that happens Again, not making it real tight, just kind of making an indentation so I can find the, the holes of the buggy. Now we've got them all in, so I'm going to tighten them real good. Alright, thanks buddy for your help. shirts in there nice and good and tight and there now we've got our seatbelt attached all right next we are going to we're on step 23 now all right next we're gonna need pieces S Q and U so we have this black piece here with some threading on the end and a bolt and a washer. And what you're gonna do is take the big piece here and stick it in the back of the car so it comes through on the other end. Stick this on through here. There we go, there he is. You're gonna stick it 
on through. You may see that the handles attach. Um, you know, sometimes we make mistakes and I had a piece left over at the end after we created it, so we're going back and adding this. So pay no attention that the handle's on, pretend like it's not even here. So what we're gonna do is take the washer and put it on the screw right here. You can see this. And take the bolt. And again, it's a bolt that you can only screw it on so far until it stops. Let's get on the other side of this here. And then we, you can either use a wrench, or I've got a ratchet here, which makes it just a little bit easier. If you have a wrench, you can work, make that work too. Let's get this going the right way. But you are going to have to take one hand to hold the black piece in the handle, and then tighten uh, with your other hand. And again, if you don't have a ratchet, you can use the wrench to tighten it. It just takes a little bit longer and uh, just takes longer and kind of hurts my hand after a while. So I like to use this to really get it on there nice and tight. And again, it's not going to go on 
all the way because you need to tighten it. So um, using a, you can either use two pliers and put a plier on each side and tighten the one side while you're holding the other side, or I'm going to use uh, the ratchet and hold the other side here. So let's see, do you want to do the ratchet, buddy? Okay. I'll hold. We're going to stick this on. You're just going to, whoops. Here, should we make sure we come over here? Bump 
here for where they go. Alright, and then we last we have the flowers. Oops. So we've got our one big flower again. Make sure you're very careful when you're peeling them off of here because you don't want to accidentally rip them. We have our single flower goes on the purple part here. And then we've got a batch of three. That one goes on the front of the car. And one goes on the back of the car here. This is where I found is the most wrinkly spot because it's kind of curved. So we'll just smooth it out here. And voila! Now we've got our cruiser to go cruising in. Alright, thanks to my helper, my buddy, for helping me today. Right? Yep, and make sure to subscribe and like the video. All right, bye.